for a long time I suffered with um, depression um, I suffered with uh, addictions i like to smoke marijuana go out to parties i had addiction to pornography i used to drink a lot of alcohol um this led me to have a lot of problems inside my life i also you know throughout life just didn't i never felt like i really felt in i've always had a lot of problems then i ended up getting a job where i was taking care of people who were always very sick and dying and this led to me being sad all the time and becoming more and more depressed. And I also felt like I just wanted to live my life for myself. I didn't want to be married anymore and I wanted to be free. And so this led me to go out and party with my friends and, you know, thinking that I was having a good time. Uh, particularly in my relationship with my husband, um, we were on the verge of getting a divorce. Um, our marriage was destroyed because I like to go out and party a lot. And I would leave for hours at a day and leave him home with the kids. Um, I wasn't a mother to my kids. I wasn't taking care of my kids. Um, I would barely see them um, because when I wasn't outside partying, I was um, working long hours. Um, but the money that would come into the house would be spent on myself and going out. This also um, led me to have a lot of debts in my financial life. Um, I was having a bad relationship with my children, with my parents. All around, I was a person who was deeply broken inside. This also led me to have feelings of depression and anxiety and just crying a lot and my life was completely destroyed. My lowest point was when I found myself injured. Um, I had suffered a severe back injury and I couldn't do anything for myself. I was laying in bed and the friends that I had that I thought were my friends um, disappeared. No one called me. Um, the people that I was hanging out with every day and doing things with, um, you know, they weren't there. And I found myself at home. I was unable to walk, um, constantly going to the doctors to get exams done on my back, x-rays and stuff like that. They told me that I had a herniated disc in my in my cervical spine, and also I had a herniated disc in my lumbar spine. I don't know what caused for me to have this um, traumatic experience, but I remember laying in my bed and crying so much because I just couldn't do anything for myself. I, I couldn't do anything for myself. And the only person that was there for me was the person who I was pushing away all the time, which was my husband. I heard about a God who heals, and I really wanted to be healed from my back injury. I found out about the church through my mom, and I remember the first day when I came to church, I actually came limping. I couldn't hardly walk from, I remember getting off at the train station and limping to the church, um, coming inside the church, and I ran, I tried to run, but I was limping to the first row, and I sat there, and I just listened to the service that day. And from that day forward, um, I started to use my faith. Um, and I did end up receiving my healing from the back injury that I suffered. But then um, I continued to go to the services on Wednesdays, on Friday for my deliverance. And God started to speak to me. And I he, he started to tell me the things that I needed to let go of. And the, the, my behaviors, the drinking, the addictions. I remember one time I was in the service and I was thinking to myself, how could I speak to God if I'm drinking? How could God speak to me if I'm not here with him, physically listening to him, but I'm drinking? And so I started to do my training prayer on Fridays for my deliverance and I was delivered from the addictions that I had. Today I don't have any cravings for alcohol. I don't drink at all. Um, I don't do I don't smoke I don't do any other things that I was doing before I don't I even look at those things and I can't be even around it it, it makes me just feel like uneasy like just disgusted and I don't want to have anything to do with it actually <laughs> um, along the ways of that um, my husband was coming to the church and my children um, and I spoke to my husband and we started to do the chain of prayers on Thursdays for our love life um, uh, 
within weeks, I started noticing a change in my marriage. Um, and the ultimate, the ultimate with that was that uh, me and my husband came to an understanding of what we need to do for each other and how to speak to each other, you know, how to take care of our children. I was there more for him and he was there for me. We were there for our children. We decided to get married um, and consecrate our marriage on the altar. Um, I continued to come to the church, especially on Wednesdays and Sundays. And I continued to seek the Holy Spirit because I really wanted my life to never go back to the way that I was. And I remember where God took me from and I said I could never go back to that life. And then I decided one day that I wanted to get baptized. I decided that I wanted to give my life to Jesus. I've done the fast of Daniel every year um, since it's been brought into the church. And during that time, I always give up. Um, being around you know social media and the news and stuff like that but I also also give up something that I really really like and um, the first thing that I had to let go of um, was something that was really hard and it was to be I'm a person who is like controlling I had to let go of that control especially in my marriage um, and let my husband you know come inside and and allow him to be the husband um, I had to let go of my bad attitudes I had to let go of my pride and I had to let go of putting myself first I learned that um, God has to be first I cannot put my feelings and my desires above God um, and that was one of the hardest things that I've had to do and um, I started to seek the Holy Spirit and I ended up receiving the Holy Spirit um, in one of the services and then I knew that my life was complete so Erica, after receiving the Holy Spirit, is a much happier person. I no longer need things uh, to make me happy. Um, I don't know. I don't longer need to drink alcohol to go to sleep. I sleep peacefully at night. Um, I'm a person who is very involved with my family. My um, after God, my family comes second. Um, I take care of my husband, I take care of my children, I'm hardworking, um, I always, everything that I do, I do it for the glory of God. So whenever I'm asked to do something, I put my best foot forward knowing that I'm doing it for God. Um, I'm no longer depressed, I no longer cry or get angry or frustrated. For me, receiving the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is life. Um, I don't know where I would be if I didn't have the Holy Spirit today. Um, I don't know what I would be doing with my life. I don't know even if I would be alive right now speaking um, because the Holy Spirit is my protector, my guide, my redeemer. It's everything for me.